hands down, biggest mistake in the cleaning industry today and how you can avoid it. All you got to do is pay attention. The biggest mistake in the cleaning industry today is spending money on social media to send people to a website without tracking who is viewing your website. All you got to do is install the Facebook pixel, but I needed to pause for a moment so that you guys understand that if you are spending money right now and you're not doing this, this is hands down the biggest mistake in the industry today because you might spend, you know, five, 10, $20 to get people to visit your website. And then if they don't ever contact you or anything, you just lose them. And then you'd have to spend more money on them again to get them. All right, you get it. You got to check it out. I spent five minutes earlier uh, looking through cleaning companies in New York. I just Googled it. And then what I found was this company. Um, if this is you, then uh, text us real quick and be like, I can't believe you used my website and I'll give you, I'll give you this free thing. <laughs> just hit me up and I'll, I'll apologize. But I seriously, it took me two seconds to find somebody who was spending money on Google ads to go to this website and they did not have a pixel on their website, which means as soon as I left, I was gone for good. They probably have sent so much money to see people in the Manhattan area visit their website and then, and then nothing. There's no way for them to retarget those people. So all you have to do is go to business.facebook.com. Take out your notebook, write this down. Go to business.facebook.com. Um, over there on the top right, you'll click create an account. And when you do that, it'll walk you through how to uh, set up your business account so that you can connect your Facebook page. You'll be walked through the process of creating an advertising account. Um, and connecting all this stuff. It's uh, very self-explanatory. And then you'll find on the top right, once you do get logged in, um, the top left, I apologize, there's a menu. And then you'll find the Facebook Pixel button. Once you do that, you'll click that and you'll go to here where it'll say uh, all the cool things you can do with the Facebook Pixel. You'll hit boom, create a pixel. And then over here on the left, you get to name your pixel and then type in the website that you want it on. And this, this pixel, uh, just to further explain what it is, is just a snippet of code that goes onto your website so that it tracks everybody that views your website. And then it cross-references Facebook's data so that if any of the people that viewed your website also have a Facebook page, this will allow you to send a notification or send a advertisement to their Facebook news feed because you know they viewed your website. Um, this is just a little, it's a one by one pixel. So it's one of the colored dots on your screen is something that's tracking you uh, anytime you visit someone's website. So that's how retargeting works. So once you create your pixel, you'll go over here on the right side and you'll see that you can connect a partner platform. So whether you're using Wix, Squarespace, or you have a GoDaddy account or um, WordPress, any of these things, you can connect a partner platform, make it easy, but you can also manually install the pixel code yourself. Um, so that will, uh, pretty self-explanatory, you will be able to uh, locate the header code for your website. So if you go to settings on whatever your website manager is or uh, Google it because you can always, this is a very Googleable process. Um, you like that word, Googleable? Yeah, Justin thought it was funny. Um, <laughs> so then you will copy this code that you see right here. It says the Facebook pixel code. You'll copy that and you'll put it into the header tag of your website. Once you do that, Anybody who views your website will get retargeted and then in your business manager account, which you just created, you will be able to go in and grab an audience of people who have visited your website but did not submit a lead form. That way you can retarget people who are interested but didn't take the first step yet and you can get them to take that first step with your business. Um, this is how it looks. You go, uh, you put the thing on your website and then you create an audience of people who view your website but not become a lead, then you spend money for them, just a whole lot less money than you would boosting posts at you know, you know, know, $20, $30 a piece. You can spend five to $10 a piece to send somebody one that says, get a free oven cleaning when you book today. And then when that new lead enters their information, your business will get notified. You can give them a call and you can turn that into more money for your business.